we take these seeds, put them in the sponge, obviously we put them under water and certain conditions, and then they start sprouting and we would move them uh, along the uh, growing process. How long does it take? For lettuces, it takes around, on average, around uh, one month, 30 days. And then that goes straight into the restaurant from here? Absolutely, straight to the restaurant. They don't need to wash it. And it's not even harvested because we send it within its roots. This farm grows almost 20 varieties of leafy greens and herbs, which are sold to local businesses, reducing the carbon footprints of the food on diners' plates and the UAE. Our region is agriculture challenged. We import 90% of our uh, fruit and vegetable requirements. So I really wanted to uh, solve a problem and I wanted to impact this region positively. And I want to inspire the rest of the region as well. We have a long list of uh, issues and problems and we need to start tackling them. And food security is really on top of that list, right? Yeah, absolutely. And we're depending upon other countries and other nations to support us. So we need to figure out uh, a viable solution such as Badia to take care of uh, this issue. This facility uses 90% less water than open field growing, and technology allows the team to monitor and create the optimal conditions for efficiently growing different types of greens. Each part of the growing uh, process requires technology, so let's start with uh, these unique LEDs that has a unique spectrum to light up uh, you know, the plants and help them grow. So if you've got lettuce, there's a a spectrum, we call them spectrum recipe, a mint, another spectrum recipe. So that's one element. Another element is, you know, the computers control uh, the whole irrigation process, when to irrigate, the scheduling, what type of nutritional formula for each plant, and then we control the humidity, we control the temperature, we control the CO2. And we've got these dehumidifiers to regulate the humidity. Now they help us in two ways. Uh, regulating the, the humidity and secondly each one of them produces 60 liters of water so in the summer we were uh, water positive for the first time. So what's the end goal? What would you eventually like to grow next? Constantly uh, uh, innovating and researching and testing different crops with different seeds um, uh, but I see in the future you'd be able to grow all these crops anywhere in the world pesticide free uh, with minimal use of water and environment uh, uh, friendly uh, uh, setups and models. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.